My dear lovely students of class 4, I am Vidya Rani, your English teacher. Children, I welcome you back to my English classes. Children, today again I have come up with a video for you all that is from Gulmoha book, chapter number 7, The Television Chocolate Room. In the earlier video of mine, I had done with this chapter that was part 1 of chapter 7. In that part 1, we had finished page number 65. Today, in this video, we will be carrying on with page number 66, chapter 7. The Television Chocolate Room. So children, before I start with the explanation of page 66, let us quickly recapitulate what we had done in the earlier video of mine. Like children, this is a frictional story. Okay? And Willy Wonka takes few of the children, those who gets the golden ticket, to his chocolate factory. Five of them get selected but by the end they reach to the testing room only two remains there. That was Mike TV and Charlie Bucket. Okay. Now he takes them in his invention room and there what does Charlie Bucket see? He sees different kinds of Things he sees Oompa Loompas all wearing red space suit and when he sees all these he gets a sense of what? Sense of danger. He feels feared. Okay. Up till here we had done in part one. Let us Start with part 2 of chapter 7, the television chocolate room. Put your fingers children where I am reading, that is page number 66. Mr. Wonka suddenly interrupted his thoughts. This is the testing room for my greatest invention, television chocolate, he cried. Now, Mr. Wonka introduced them that this was the room, this was the testing room where they were taken and it was the invention room for what children? Television chocolate. Okay. What is television chocolate? Asked Mike TV. Mike TV asked that what is chocolate? Television chocolate. Don't interrupt me, child, said Mr. Wonka. It works by television. Now, I don't like television myself, but I know the children seem to watch it all day. Now, when Mike TV asked that what is this television chocolate, then in reply, Mr. Wonka, what did he say, children? He said that don't interrupt him in between. Okay, and this Chocolate works through what? Television. Because Willy Wonka very well knew that all the children like watching television. You all also must be watching television, isn't it children? Isn't it? So likewise only he knew that the children like watching television. Okay. That's me, said Mike. Quite, said his father. Okay, then Mike said, yes, I too like watching television. Then his father said, be quiet, don't speak a word. Thank you, said Mr. Wonka. I shall now tell you how an ordinary television works. He continues, at one end a picture is taken with a large camera, then the photo graph is broken up into million tiny pieces and shot up into the sky by electricity. Now, this Willy Wonka, what did he say? He started explaining how does it come on the screen, okay? This big chocolate, okay? And he tells that's 
ordinary television how does it work i am going to tell you okay and he says that a picture is taken of the chocolate and it is broken into very tiny pieces and shot up okay shot up into the sky by what children by electricity okay how do they reach our television asks charlie now charlie was very curious he asked that how does this chocolate reaches to us okay by the television well they hit the antenna on your roof and they flash down the wire to back of the television set now to this question willy wonka said that the chocolate goes and hits to the antenna earlier we were had having antenna isn't it children nowadays also we have of different okay uh, we also have antenna like airtel okay huh? um, like tata sky we have antennas likewise also earlier also the tv was having antenna so he says that the that it goes and hits the antenna what is placed on the roof okay and it flashes down through the wire which is connected to the television set when they reach inside the tiny pieces jiggle juggle till they fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle and he said that when they reach inside the television the all the pieces start jiggling okay mixing up and they form a form of chocolate okay that's how the photograph appears on the screen and that is how the photograph appears on the screen that isn't exactly how it works mike said mike said that is it so it works like that you are a nice boy mr wonka said but you talk too much now then the very first time i saw an ordinary television working i had an idea if a photograph could be broken into million of pieces and then put together couldn't i also send a real bar of chocolate whistling through the air into tiny pieces and then put the pieces together at the other end all ready to be eaten now he said that you are a nice boy please don't question too much okay and you talk too much the first time mr wonka said that the first time when i saw the television how the ordinary television works then he got an idea to make this invention okay that he what he got an idea he created an idea that if the photograph can be taken okay of the chocolate and broken it into tiny pieces and then put together okay then he could couldn't he send the real bar of chocolate whistling into the air going through the air okay in tiny pieces and put the pieces at the last he said that he thought of putting the pieces together at the end that could really be eaten by the children okay impossible said my tv my tv said it is impossible well watch this cried mr wonka bring in the chocolate please he nodded now when my tv did not agree to him then he said okay i am going to show you how i invented this and how it goes into the television okay and how the bar appears in the television let's have a watch to it up till here children i end with part 2 i'll be carrying on the same very chapter that will be part 3 of chapter 7 the television chocolate room till then children keep on reading this story okay i'll be catching you up with the next video of mine take care children bye have a nice day